Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're all well wherever you are and whatever you're up to. In my video this week, I wanted to share with you the really exciting new pattern room that we've got in the shop. That's where I'm sitting right now. And I'm really excited to share it with you because I think it really just adds to the whole shop experience when you come and visit the shop. Um, but if you're, I've had the shop for about six and a half years now, but if you're still quite, if you're quite new to the shop, you've only like visited in more recent years. When we first opened, we actually used to have a coffee coffee area it was like a little kind of coffee shop corner at the back of the shop and then we used to have like a whole yarn wall as well and over time that is like gradually sort of just kind of evolved and now that we just specialize more so in dressmaking fabrics and patterns and um, the shop area has just really changed over time but we did have this sort of area at the back of the shop and it was actually an external courtyard so there was like big massive sort of doors that you opened at the back of the shop um, and you maybe wouldn't have necessarily noticed them because we didn't use the courtyard garden bit we did use it in the summer when we had the coffee shop area um, but then we just that we didn't really use it in more recent years and we we just ended up having like haberdashery stands in front of it so you might have not noticed it but the space was here before it was just a garden so basically we put a roof on the garden because it was just like a really little sort of courtyard area and it has just really transformed the back of the shop basically but the whole reason I wanted to kind of create this room is not just so that I could like fill it with more fabric my vision for this room was really to just kind of make a bit more of an experience of it because I know that you guys love being able to like touch and feel the fabrics and really sort of try to imagine what clothes will look like when they're made up and I wanted to have a dedicated area in the shop to be able to do that. You know, we look we look online all the time, YouTube, Instagram, everywhere, and we see all these images to get inspiration, but this is almost like a way to kind of bring that to life, if you like. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take lots of clips of the room and kind of explain everything to you just so you can you can sort of see what it all is. This corner that I'm in just now. You can see part of the pattern wall behind me and then we've got like a little sort of sewing machine area set up too because a lot of people who come to the shop don't realize that we have a studio upstairs and that we do workshops as well so it's just to kind of highlight that they are the machines that we have in the studio and then when you come and do a workshop you get to use all the lovely prim tools which are up there too and i wanted to kind of put a bit of an inspiration board up on that wall as well so maybe like a pattern of the month or a little sort of capsule collection of clothes that are seasonal just to inspire you so I've got a few ideas up there just now but I want to sort of make that a bit more themed as time goes on um, and then we've got a really lovely seating area as well just so that it's people can come and hang out and stay a bit longer you know sometimes it takes time to think about what you're going to make and make all of these decisions so there's just a nice little corner where you can chill out you can look at some books we've got one of our anatomy of a sewing machine prints up on the wall you can't go wrong with a bit of plants these days as well um, and then we have got loads and loads of samples so we have got two whole rails that are just full of samples and we we made so we used to have samples in the shop but then we knew that we wanted to have way more in this room so we made like a big list of all the different samples we wanted to make we're still working our way through that list so that will be getting added to and also i want to try and make it as current as i can in terms of like fabrics that we've got and stuff so these two whole rails are just jam-packed we've, we've got dresses we've got skirts trousers clots jackets tops jumpers loads and loads of different things and then what we've done is labeled them up with what pattern they are the size that the samples made in a lot of the clothes are actually mine my own clothes which don't fit me at the moment because i'm pregnant and um, so they are in my size and um, and that was like the quickest way to fill up the rail for now but as time goes on we do we are going to be making more samples that are in different sizes too just so you can sort of see the range in that and then what kind of fabric it is and then the other thing that I wanted to do, because one of the most common questions we get asked is what sort of fabric is good for what sort of pattern, is we've got a selection of just different types of fabric here. So these are sort of representative of some of the most common types of fabric that we come across that are popular in the shop. 
and we've just got a sample of them hanging up just so that you can see the drape and movement of it a little bit more. It's totally different when you look on a shelf and you see fabric rolled around a bolt or on a roll. You know, unless you've got a lot of experience and you know just from by reading the name or having a quick feel what it is, it's hard to really envisage like, what is that fabric going to do when I make it up? How is it going to hang? How is it going to move? So having these samples out that you can sort of feel and kind of move around and drape will hopefully help all of you lovely customers that are going to come to the shop just to understand a bit more about the fabric. So I've made up these little kind of information cards that go at the top so it just describes the fabric and what, what sort of things you can do with it, how you would sew with it, and then common and sort of typical washing instructions as well. So it's just, just a way to get a bit more sort of understanding of the different fabrics. And then of course, the main feature of this room is the absolutely amazing pattern wall. I absolutely love this wall. We used to have a much smaller version, which was probably about a third of this um, in the main shop. And it is just amazing to be able to like have it all out. I think it's a really, the, pa the, the indie patterns that we stock are so beautiful. You know, they're designed so nicely, all the different colors, and it's just great to see them all. It's like, to me, it looks like a work of art, seeing all of these out, because I just love, love how they all look together. Um, so we've organised it by pattern company, but what I've tried to start doing is signpost some of them. So if they're new ones, they have the just arrived tag. If they're good for beginners, then they've got like a little label on them too. So we'll kind of work out over time what sort of signposts people are finding most useful because it is as, as beautiful as I can appreciate. It might be overwhelming when you first come in and think, wow, look at all these patterns, like where do I even start? Um, so so yeah that is the pattern wall there and, and it's just such a lovely light bright and airy room the the shop is sort of feeling quite packed you know every every wall space every kind of area is starting to just you know it just fills up with fabric everywhere it's just tends to be what happens over time also especially at this time of year when we have a lot of more chunky fabrics in because it's winter time and um, but this the space in the pattern room just feels totally different it's like really like the lights different because we've got the skylight and it's, and it's really spacious and fresh i just love it so if you're able to make a special trip to the shop then that would be absolutely amazing you can you can hang out in the seating area if you bring your significant other and they're not quite as interested in feeling all the fabrics then you can park them there um, but I really hope if you do come to visit the shop that you enjoy using this room and that you yeah it just gives you lots of inspiration that's my that's my main reason for it really is it just sort of immerses you in the in thinking yeah I'm gonna make all the things and um, if you can't come then hopefully if you can't come to the shop because you're too far away and um, then I hope this little tour has kind of given you a bit more of an idea of what it's like so the other part of the shop that I wanted to show you while I was doing a little tour of the new pattern room is our lovely autumnal window display because I know you guys like seeing what's in that. Um, jo, as always, has put together an absolutely gorgeous display. I love the colours in it and it, is, it, it has started to feel colder here so it's just, it's just nice to have a, a, a different window for the season. Um, so you can see that the, it's a very, very sort of warm autumnal colour palette. We've got the, the little leaf felt garland hanging in the window and then on the three mannequins in this window we've gone for like a cosy jumper feel. So we've got a linden sweatshirt which is made up in some of our medal look back fabric so it's a much more sort of drapey version kind of makes it look a bit more like a top than a jumper but the linden is so versatile it looks great and those kind of lighter weight fabrics too. And then then we've got the version one, I always get the version one and version two mixed up of the toaster. Pretty sure it's the version one of the toaster. And and the burgundy cosy colours which looks really nice. I hadn't actually seen this version made up before in real life, I always just make the other version of the toaster but I really like it. I think the top stitching detail is really nice too and it's super cosy around the neck so um, just another good alternative if you're looking for a jumper and then the lighter pink one is the Megan Nielsen Jara jumper and that is using some of our light pink sort of glitter sweatshirting which is really nice. This is my actual jumper um, that I've worn <laughs> and then we ended up just putting it in the window so um, it looks a little bit more loved than some of the newer samples but 
I think it looks great and just yet yeah, another really good cozy jumper idea. And then we've just got some really nice fabric hanging from these loops. Um, and then the, one of the old sewing machines again. And then Joe's made loads of these lovely maple leaf sort of fans out of card, which look really cool. It's just really striking. I think it just adds a really kind of sort of brings everything together um, and makes it look really nice. And then we've used our fabric pumpkins that we made um, for a window display before. So always nice to reuse props again. Um, I think they look really cool and yeah, very autumnal as well. So hopefully that little tour gives you a little idea of what the shop is looking like right now and what the window display is looking like. If anybody's got any questions at all about anything, then please do give me a shout. You can leave a com you can leave a message in the comments or you can get in touch with us via email. Um, I'm gonna I've sort of started saying at the end of my videos now because my baby is coming quite soon. I might not be able to respond to comments that are on YouTube as quickly as I usually aim to do. Um, so if you do ever need to get in contact with us for anything, the quickest way is always by email in the shop, which is info at guthrie-ganny.co.uk because that is, that is monitored um, six days a week by the staff. So it just means that if you need a, an answer to a question, it's, the, it's probably like the quickest, reliable way to get an answer um, as opposed to via through social media because that might start to be a little bit hit and miss on how quick I can respond to that. Or of course you can phone the shop as well. Um, we're open six days a week too. But thanks so much for watching guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, then just remember to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.